Hi, folks, this is Ada. We recently talked about vector models being used in reverse image search, facial recognition, recommendation engines of Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon, and natural language processing applications such as ChatGPT. Today, we are going to talk about the algorithms to find similar ones once we have vector embeddings. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. When it comes to performing similarity search using vector models, two commonly used algorithms are k-nearest neighbors or shortly knn and approximate nearest neighbors or shortly ann algorithms. Let's discuss the pros and cons of each and understand when to use them. Firstly, knn works by calculating the distance between the query vector and all the vectors in the dataset. The k-nearest neighbors with the smallest distances are then selected as the most similar vectors. Pros of knn Accuracy. KNN provides exact results, ensuring the selection of the K nearest neighbors. Simplicity. The algorithm is relatively simple to implement and understand. Cons of KNN. High computational cost. As the dataset grows larger, KNN becomes computationally expensive since it requires calculating the distance between the query vector and all vectors in the dataset. Limited scalability. The performance of KNN degrades as the dataset size increases, making it impractical for very large datasets. When to use KNN For small to moderate sized datasets where computational resources and memory are not significant limitations. When precise similarity search is required and computational time is not a critical factor. Secondly, Approximate nearest neighbors algorithms are designed to address the limitations of KNN and provide efficient similarity search in high dimensional spaces. These algorithms aim to find approximate nearest neighbors without examining every vector in the dataset. ANN algorithms use space partitioning and hyperplane division to efficiently find approximate nearest neighbors. The algorithm selects two random vectors and creates a hyperplane to divide the data space. Vectors on one side of the hyperplane are stored together, while those on the other side are stored separately. This process is repeated recursively, creating a tree-like structure. During a search, the algorithm traverses the structure, selecting branches based on the query vector's position relative to the hyperplanes. This approach minimizes the number of comparisons required and enables faster search times. The algorithm needs to store hyperplanes and vectors on the left and on the right in a tree. This increases space complexity, but mostly it is worth because it decreases time complexity dramatically. Pros of ANN Efficiency ANN algorithms can significantly reduce computational time compared to KNN by employing techniques like data indexing, data partitioning, and pruning. Scalability ANN methods can handle large-scale datasets efficiently, allowing similarity search in high-dimensional spaces. Cons of ANN Approximation errors, ANN algorithms sacrifice some accuracy in favor of improved efficiency. The results may not always be perfectly accurate. Configuration sensitivity The performance of ANN algorithms can be sensitive to various parameters, requiring careful tuning. When to use ANN for large-scale datasets or high-dimensional spaces where KNN becomes computationally expensive or impractical. When the focus is on efficiency and faster search times, and some level of approximation is acceptable. In summary, KNN is suitable for smaller datasets and when precise similarity search is required, while ANN algorithms are more appropriate for larger datasets or high-dimensional spaces where computational efficiency is crucial, even if the results are slightly approximate. Thank you all for watching and see you.